Greetings, Earthlings. If you'll excuse me, I was just catching up on some light reading. My name is Jordan Ramsey. I'm one of the co-creators of Bounty Rush, which you may well know from this Kickstarter video that you're watching right now. We have launched this Kickstarter in hopes of publishing our brand new board game and, if possible, publishing it ourselves. Now, I'd like to give you a little bit of backstory into the history of Bounty Rush. My other co-creator, Justin Tordowski, and I have been best friends since we were in the womb, literally. My mother and his mother went camping together, both pregnant, and we plotted our escape at that very event. Now, flash forward to some 40 years later, uh, where 2020 was a rough year for all. But what was great about it for us was that Justin and I had reconnected. Back in high school, we created a board game in art class that we titled Cannibal Escape. This was a game where you played human beings trying to escape an island of crazy adventure. Now, while we tried to recreate that event when we first started creating Bounty Rush, we decided that perhaps cannibals were not the most kid-friendly topic. So when we got our heads together this past year, we decided that we were going to delve into more familiar areas for us. Justin and I are huge sci-fi nerds. We have been ever since we were very little, and we always will be. Now, Bounty Rush came to life when we thought it might be a great idea to capitalize on some other bounty hunter merchandise that has been going around this past year. But we thought we could make it better. Better than some billion dollar company. Better than some $40 million production. We will create a board game for the people that will make them laugh, cry, and make them angry enough to flip the table. Our game is full of jokes which is very difficult for humorless and robotic people such as us. But we did hire a great designer, Kendall Diano, who, to her credit, is quite funny. She will be designing the cards for our board game, and as we go along, you will get to see more and more artwork as she produces it. You will notice the little details that she puts in that makes her card so special. You will see exactly what makes this game unique and you will get to see all the fantastic puns and jokes and everything that you can expect from us. So you might be asking yourself, how exactly does this game work? Well, you get to choose one of eight heroes to start with, each with a signature ability. Some may say, let you fire on, your, on enemy ships that are farther away. Some may let you travel through black holes to anywhere on the board. While your signature ability is important, your bounties, your fugitives, also have special abilities. There are 20 fugitive cards that will be included in the game, and each one of those also has a signature ability. So some aliens, while easier to catch, are worth fewer credits, while the more difficult ones to acquire are worth mountains of credits. There's also play cards, which will create complications in the way that you move about the board, the way that you interact with your fellow players, the way that you actually attack your bounties. There are some that are quite interesting. Let's take the card, for example, let's make things interesting, which will add one additional dice roll to your movement. This can help you bounce across the board rather quickly, if I do say so myself. Now, the purpose of our game, which you are probably dying to know, and you might be asking yourself, why did he wait till the middle of this video to actually say what the purpose of the game is? Well, we like to keep you in suspense. The purpose of our game is to acquire 100 credits or be the last alive in space. You gain credits by actually destroying your enemies, by acquiring loot, and capturing those bounties. So if you destroy your enemies or collect 100 credits, we offer two avenues to victory. 
We've also added some mechanisms that add complications to our complications. While this might seem like an easy game at first, you're going to have to make tough decisions. You are going to have to decide whether you would like to play a card or would you like to stash that card for additional credits if, if you can capture the bounty. We call this the cargo hold, which you can stash with loot while you go on many wild galactic adventures trying to track down these fugitive aliens. It's quite an, a nice original concept that is going to add a lot of fun to your game. Do you stash the card that's worth six credits or play it to get that bonus extra turn? Do you play your bomb card and hopefully blow someone up? Or do you get the extra five credits when you acquire the bounty? These are the decisions that you're going to have to make when you are playing Bounty Rush. So we designed this game for ages 10 plus. However, as you continue to play it more and more, the more and more familiar that you will become with it, and the more complexity is added to the game. Some cards work well together, and you'll find these combinations as you play more games. Parents, you will enjoy this as well. And might I suggest that you play the game once with your significant other, and then play it with your kids so you can stomp them into the ground. We have added a lot of color to this game. Literally. The colors are vibrant, the graphics are funny, and the jokes are superb, even if we did add in one too many puns. However, for all you 40-year-old nerds like me that want enjoyment in your game, and want to understand references that nobody else understands, this is the game for you. Even if you lose, you can gloat at your kids for not knowing a Space Worm reference. Over the past year, we have seen many, many great board games come across on Kickstarter, but we can absolutely say without any bias that ours is the best. So, if you choose to donate, we have many different donation levels. At higher levels, you get copies of the beta version and will be invited to our beta mailing list. Now, these are not the final products of the game. However, you can still play them and enjoy them and actually give us feedback on our game. When you give us input, you can change the way that we finalize the game. You can make this game more fun for hopefully the millions and millions of other players that are going to actually enjoy this game. With other Kickstarters, you might get the final product, which you can as well with Bounty Rush. With your donation of $250, we will ship at no cost, excluding shipping, to you the final version of the game, should we meet our stretch goals. Now we have a $20,000, a $50,000, and a $100,000 stretch goal. We know that seems ambitious, but we really believe in this game, and we know that we can make it the best possible version for you if we can meet those goals. At the $20,000 mark, we will send everybody that donated $250 or more of the final copy of the game. At $50,000, we will send the final copy of the game plus the additional wormhole expansion. At $100,000, if we should meet this goal, we will send everybody that donated at $250 and above the original finalized game, the wormhole expansion, and the Let's Get Complicated expansion. You know, for you 40-year-old adults that like to add a little complication to your game. We appreciate every follow that we get at Bounty Rush Game on Twitter and Instagram. We appreciate every email that we get. We appreciate every message board message that we get. We appreciate everything that you do to contact us to let us know what we can do to make our game better. So keep in touch and hopefully we will see you in the game.